Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just I'm playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon playthroughs. Last episode we did a... Uh, uh, we did a part of Lost Ray Castle and... The Consumed King's Garden. It was... And also the Dancer, and I died to the Dancer like three times or something, and I died... A couple of times outside of it. Let's hope that this episode will be the turnaround. Where I will be able to... Find my skill yet again. And, uh, just continue to have fun. Well, outside of that, I end up in a bottomless pit of, of depression. No, not really. Bottomless uh, pit of bad gameplay. There we go. Your daggers ain't gonna stop me. Get some things in here, though. Some tight night skills. But I've noticed that uh, all of the ultra great swords that have like the horizontal attack, I cannot deal with that in a boss battle. Why? Because I don't know, man. Well, I don't know. I'll see. I, I might want to try to use another one at a later point or whatever. But for the moment, I won't. For the moment, I'll just stick with good old reliable, which is the Black Knight great sword. And also, I guess, the normal greatsword. But that one is too heavy right now. Even though it's probably a good idea for me to use that one. Why? Because it does more damage. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go and switch over to this boy. Let's go and see. How much damage do you do right now? 442. And now it is... Almost 500 damage. <laughs> so that's definitely 50 damage more. Uh, the thing I can do, however, is do this. Maybe. Yeah, that and then de-equip this thing. And then I do have the carry weight to use this weapon again. It isn't really enough, though. To do the thing that I want to do. So I don't really think I'm going to change my weapon then and then i'll just go and continue using this boy all right let's go and see because there are some doggos to deal with yes some doggos that i with my two-handed weapon don't kill nice strong attack it is then Pretty good idea for me to go and deal with this entire situation over here. How about you come a little bit closer, buddy? I just need more stamina, I think. Oh, he's dead. Okay, nice. <laughs> I did not expect that. But it is awesome nonetheless. You know what? There's one thing that I should learn with these weapons. I shouldn't spam the attack. I just shouldn't. I should attack either once or twice, but not but no three times. That is what I should be doing. With these weapons. With all of these weapons. Not sure about the the horizontal attack ones though. How are you not dead? I swear to god. A giant greatsword. And it just doesn't die. <laughs> the logic... ...is non-existent. Well, I am using a weapon that is not fully upgraded, I suppose. Alright, starter of Crystal Cream Hill. <laughs> Launched into the air. Oh, wow. She's gonna heal now. <laughs> and she's now gonna fall to her doom. Dark spirit destroyed! Alright, so we have you and then your buddy over here. Oh, 
At least I can watch at these enemies. If anything. There we go. But I feel like almost any weapon can one-shot these enemies at this point of the game. Even though these enemies are technically stronger than the original ones we find. I'm not sure in HP. Actually, no, no. Actually, yeah, they, they are stronger in HP, definitely. I think. Maybe. Let go and kill you. Kill you. <laughs> Casually walk to the side to avoid a flaming, a flaming bolt. Being shot in my general direction. I only just noticed what a grueling journey the bow only playthrough is going to be. It's going to be an interesting one. No, it's going to make it so I have to think outside of the box. Which can be quite interesting, I suppose. Okay, once again, doing half of the damage that I would normally be doing. If not less. Actually, no, wait, I'm doing 300 damage, okay. I got hit by that? <laughs> Question mark. Probably should have equipped my parachute that. Because Gundir can be parried. And should be parried. That should have hit me. Alright, time for second phase. Just gonna wait for my stamina to return. Oh man, that was a close one. That attack is so annoying to avoid. The charging attack. Damn it. I pressed the button again, but it wasn't good enough. Let me go and heal up. <laughs> ah yes. The classic punch. Look at the damage. Look at that fucking damage. Press the roll button, but I wasn't perfect. Which is a thing that Dark Souls requires. <laughs> well, not requires. To make your... To, hmm. to have an easy time, yes. Alright. One fire lit. Okay, that was not as bad as I expected to go. Especially because I personally think that fighting Gundir with a heavy weapon is ridiculously difficult. But the most difficult weapon to fight him with uh, is yet to come, and that is the... Uh, well, those are the Great Axes. But in my opinion, the Great Axes are the worst weapons in the game. <laughs> so yeah. I'm gonna start pumping some more points into strength. Wait. Wait just a gas darn minute. I can upgrade this boy. Again, it does more damage than the Black Knight Ultra Greatsword. Well, that's pretty good. Okay, now which one am I going to be upgrading from these two? This one does more damage. And I gotta say, I'm more like the moveset. I'll just have to... I'll just have to increase my vitality at some point. <laughs> Alright. Uh, we still have a lot of time left, so I suppose we're going to go into... Actually, no, wait, I first have to go and grab my, uh, my thing. Yes, indeed. The thing. Of which I don't remember the name of. I did just remember something else. An item that I might want to go and grab. I'll first go and get this. The item that I'm thinking about is in a very annoying to reach place, so... Yeah. I'd rather not have to run back. I haven't fought your kind in uh, this playthrough before. I'm sorry, I haven't fought your, like, your weapon type before. <laughs> Obliterate it. Don't need the Hornet Ring. Not useful for me. Nothing, nothing else around here is useful to me. There we go. Yeah. Well, there might be one thing that I am interested in looking at. 
what, 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 what? Those are the Wolfman gauntlets. Best. Best not Terry Long. <laughs> I love the fact that I can recreate that. These things also go that far. That's the thing that I don't like about those. You know what? The leather gloves in a certain way do make sense. The Cathedral Light gauntlets. They're fucking huge. Or these ones, even. I think I'll run around with this for a moment. It's not its not made from iron, but... Like, it's not made from metal, sorry. But it looks good. <laughs> Let's go to the last bonfire. I'm gonna go and... Uh, fast travel my way over to... Lothly Castle. And we're gonna go back into the Kashim King's Garden. To go and grab another piece of armor that I missed. Or that I just didn't get. <laughs> really. Because last episode I figured... I'm sorry, last playthrough I figured out what I needed to collect in the Consumed King's Garden. And I decided to mark the shadow armor as useless. Or like the entire pile of items on there as not that good. Not that useful, except if I need something very specific. But I do know about the shadow armor that you have no sleeves. And that it does have, like, these shoulder pads. So I'm gonna take a look at that. There we go. I was hoping he died, but he probably didn't. There we go. Those guys did die because they already took fall damage. Which is kind of funny. Being like, surprise attack! Fall damage. Shit. Hold the lever. I still think that this armor looks pretty dang fine for what I'm trying to go for. But I still want to test some other things out when I find them. I'm just gonna go all the way downwards. I'm gonna run to the center of the place. <laughs> I'm going to run over to the center of the place. And I'm gonna go and get my item. Do wanna take a good look around to see if there's no black creatures. There we go. And let's go back to the shrine. A toxic! Cause you're toxic! All right, so let's see the shadow garb. It does have sleeves. <laughs> Surprise! It does have sleeves. Ugh. That ain't good. Yeah, this is the best that I found up until this point. It's pretty dang insane, actually. Alright. Let us go and... Uh, go over to the Dragon Barracks and deal with another... <laughs> spectacularly shitty place. <laughs> oh well, it's the end of Dark Souls. And also, Lothric Castle, I already hate. Like, I, I always hated Lothric Castle. And I will continue to do so. Don't like this area too much. Way too many dig moves. I use way too much a big dick energy in this place. There we go. Thanks for the broken straight sword. Titanite chunk. Let's go and there we go. <laughs> Hope that he doesn't turn into a piss of man. Twinkling Titanite. I definitely need that stuff. Every piece that I can get is gonna be appreciated. Lightning urn. There we go. More Twinkling Tide Knight. I think that's enough to... Uh... <sighs> Why in the hell? And now he comes to attack me, doesn't he? You piece of shit. 
There we go. Give me that dagger. I deserve that dagger. Right, and then it is surprise, false sex. Damn it. Shouldn't have turned around. <laughs> Poise! <laughs> well, more like super armor, but. Let's just act as if it as if it was poise. Okay, I do have enough. I'm gonna go and upgrade my Black Knight sword for a moment. To see how much damage I can get out of leveling it up again. These swords are freaking huge. <laughs> Like at moments like this when I'm running, I can I can see like the the crazy height of these weapons. There we go. And let's see. 280 and 261. This should turn into 322. Let's go and do it, man. Let's do it. I can get more uh Titanite slabs anyway. I'm gonna wait until I have like the Lorian, uh, until I have the Lorian's, like Lorian's uh, greatsword, and then I'm gonna choose which one of the boss weapons I'm gonna upgrade to level 10. Well, I guess in total you could get 10 uh, Titanite slabs in every single playthrough. I think with DLC included, maybe. But yeah. I actually don't remember how you get a lot of those. I can't think of it right now, but I... Like, subconsciously, I do know where they are, probably. Let's see, how much damage do I do with this thing now? 590 damage. That's a lot more damage. Than it did before. <laughs> shooting me a bolt, we're shooting me with the bolts, and me not giving a fuck. Fuck you, bitch. I wonder though, what is the rolling attack? Is it a stab? Yes. That is a little bit annoying though. I do like it when it's in when it's a horizontal attack. Oh well. Uh -huh. There we go. I'm going to I'm gonna go down there, like down into the place with the airfield knight. Or like the the Artrider Knight, but not right now. And that was fast. Dumb dragon. Can't wait until I can do the bow plate where I can shoot you and fucking kill you before you do anything stupid and or annoying. All right, let's see if I can get absolutely murdered by uh, hollows. <laughs> that can definitely happen in this area. Specifically, these hollows. Oh, one shot, nice. Unexpected, but definitely awesome. Let me go and uh, open the gate. I think I'm gonna go and switch over to the profaned greatsword. Fairy movements. So that I can use my fire attacks on your boy over there. Should be some more holes coming in. There we go. And that guy, I have no idea what that guy's doing. Okay, let's go and roll out of the way. I missed. Joy, I missed. Let's go for the stomp attack. Ow. Oh boy, curse pick. <laughs> Why are there so many annoying enemies in this game? 
I'm really starting to wonder that, actually. Especially these ones, though. So he stopped puking. Or at least that's what it looked like. And then uh, suddenly one puke thing fell out. And because it's curse damage, it instantly fills my curse gauge and I instantly die. At least I managed to kill the dragons. Of which you can just walk through, by the way. You see this? You see this? That is what they do over here. That is what they use those hollows for. See ya. Of course you have iframes when you climb a ladder. Don't you fucking do that shit again, trash. Time for plan B. Plan black. I guess the hollows all also die from them. If anything. And there we go. Praise the Lord. Why are you kidding me? Get the fuck out of here. Once again, suddenly really quiet. I like it though. <laughs> Can't wait until I can... Well, actually... In a certain way, I can't wait until I can play a game that's gonna... Well, I'm definitely gonna... Like, the next game I'm gonna choose is definitely gonna be a game where I... I'm not gonna have to do as much crazy shit. A less action game, more strategic game. In the form of an RPG or whatever. Just so I can have an easy time for a little bit. Well, an easy time when it comes to the stuff that I'm supposed to do, like... If I were, for instance, to choose Fire Emblem, I know that I'm probably not going to have an easy time because I will be stressing out because of because of the thing that I don't want to have to reset. Uh, like the, I'm sorry, that I'm scared about my units dying. Oh well. But then I won't. I, the thing is, at that point, I won't have to do like I have to do more thinking than actually performing stuff. Because the controls in that game are just like, hey, press this button to make this character do that shit. And that's it. You don't have to do like any crazy... Crazy things like in Dark Souls where you have to press a million buttons. Kind of. Alright. Are you kidding me? Doesn't matter. Did I? I... I really hate the fact that it does that. Go. Get that guy's attention. Of course, you're gonna buff yourself and your friends noticed. But I killed you before your friend could do anything. Yes, fuck you. I'm gonna go and get the shortcut. And then I'm gonna go and fight the... Uh, the other dude. Actually, wait. I can go and... Uh, yeah. Let me go and get the things back here also. Tight night scales. Just so I have more... Uh, more stuff to... Uh, to upgrade things with. Even though it's only one, but... yeah. You don't need that many tight night scales to upgrade a weapon to full level. Well, actually, you do need a decent amount of those, I think. That no, doesn't matter too much. Alright. So, people, 
are we going to get instantly attacked while I fall down and then instantly die or it's kind of crazy how he always does that attack every single time that I go over here These enemies to me are like the the living representation with everything that is wrong about Dark Souls enemy design. With like the fact that this thing cannot be stunned unless if you, unless if you use fire, which I can deal with. Like that's not too bad in my opinion. The worst part, in my opinion, is the entire uh, the entire shitty hitbox parts of that. Of that enemy. The fact that their hitbox makes no goddamn sense. That's just the worst in Dark Souls. <laughs> Hitboxes are the worst in Dark Souls sometimes. One of the worst things I have to deal with in any case. Okay. Can I just always stun you? Whenever I attack you? Looks like it. I'm going hit up. And kill you. And let's go and get myself the Titanite scales and I think also Twinkling Titanite in this place. Not sure about the Twinkling though. Yep. It's only one, but once again, those are rare upgrade materials. Let's go back to the shrine with my 70k souls. Also, this video is 27 minutes long. God dang, and I forgot to take a look at the time. I'm still gonna fight the Dragon Slayer armor though. <laughs> Notice me forget it in a moment. <laughs> yeah. I can get- wow, look, look at the damage I can get from increasing my, uh, my dexterity. That's pretty insane. I'm gonna go and bring you to level 25. And then I'm gonna start putting everything into uh, into strength until I reach my uh, level 15 strength. Let me also go and sell uh, some souls. Miracle and curved uh, curved sword, great sword and sorcery, halberd and a ring, great axe and a great shield. Asher. Asher. Mm. All this work. Let's see, uh, let me go and upgrade you. So, I want to compare these two in a moment. Scaling of 325 damage. That's a lot of damage. Okay, now we have some other weapons that require some things. You're the only one weapon who still requires Twinkling Titanite. And I'll just wait with the chunks for now. Okay, uh, let's see. This thing is level five though. Wait, how much damage do I do with this thing right now? Two handed, eh? Uh, two handed, eight. 590. And this thing does 542. Okay, interesting. The thing is, this weapon can be improved by. Like, you can get a lot of extra damage when you increase your dexterity. Which I might eventually do when I feel like it. But first, strength. Let's go over here and make our way over to the Dragon Slayer armor. And seeing how horrendous that's gonna go. <laughs> Probably. The Dragon Slayer armor can be quite difficult. Depends on a lot of things. One of those things is me and my gameplay, or my skills. Mind you. Gotta do my push-ups. I'm sorry, my sit-ups. <laughs> From Final Fantasy VII. The sit-ups. The sit-up minigame. It's amazing. Right. We're finally here. 
<laughs> find it here. Insert link screen. Uh, just because I feel like it, I'm gonna go and ember myself. To get more HP. Alright, buddy. That is the solid amount of damage that I was hoping for. The roll. Oh, man. That's like an attack that can one-shot you. <laughs> With relative ease. So, yeah. I was pretty unlucky that I could still avoid it. That was really close. I almost didn't avoid it. There we go. Gotta, for, gotta go for that counter damage. Too early. <laughs> that was a cocky hit and a half. The thing is, I knew that like the longer I stay around this battle, usually, the more annoying that the uh, that the pilgrim butterflies become, and then I really want to finish off the battle as fast as I can in the second phase, just so I don't have to deal with the pilgrim uh, butterflies bullcrap. All right. Well, speak. Take nourishment from these sovereignless souls. I really like that, actually. That that line. Alright people, that's it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of Distant. I was playing Dark Souls 3, the weapon plages. Next episode, we're gonna go and deal with the Grand Archives. Goodbye.